Okay, so what do you know about Greece? I didn't know much more besides the fact it's one of the most beautiful places to spend your vacations with beautiful people and with a great history. Greece was the birthplace of democracy, Olympic Games, political science and Western drama. <laughs> what I didn't know so far was the fact that their food is so delicious and it has such a great history as well. The country has an ancient culinary tradition and over the centuries Greek cuisine has evolved and absorbed numerous influences and influenced many cuisines itself. One example is the pita bread with a lot of variations but the name came from the similarity to pizza from Italy. The ancient Greeks used to grow olives, grapes, figs and kept goats for milk and cheese. They still make wide use of vegetables, grains such as wheat and barley, fish, wine, meat, cheese, fruit, herbs, bread and yogurt. Common dessert ingredients include nuts, honey, fruits and phyllo pastry. The ingredients of Mediterranean cuisine are somehow different from those of the cuisine of Northern Europe with olive oil instead of butter and wine instead of beer. The Greek cuisine incorporates fresh ingredients into a variety of local dishes such as moussaka, patsito, Greek salad, fasolada, spanakopita and souvlaki. Olive oil is added to almost every dish and spices such as oregano, mint, garlic and onion are very common as well. One great thing Greece has in common with Brazil besides the wonderful beaches is the carnival. The Patras Carnival, as most carnival events in the Mediterranean and the Balkans, is connected with ancient pagan rituals, such as those to honor Dionysius. Due to proximity to Italy, the Venetian carnival influenced the festivities, giving them western aspects it has so far. The Patras Carnival begins on January 17 and lasts up to Clean Monday, a day to leave behind sinful attitudes and non-fasting foods. Okay, so this is the pita so lucky that comes with fries and tzatziki. 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 Okay. Um, this one is the Stefos so lucky. Um, it came with lamb, lamb and chicken, lamb and chicken, and this one. A garlic prawns <laughs> and that comes with seafood. So let's see. Hi, my name is Havina, I'm from Brazil. And we are the in the Greek restaurant. How I really love seafood, I order a uh, from garlic and comes with shrimps and I think this is olive oil with garlic, the Greek rice and the Greek salad and I've already tried and they mix to get really good but my favorite thing was the bread I just love this bread and I think the food really tasty but remember the foods that I'm used to it so that is not something new for me but it's really good so I've ordered the uh, souvlaki this one is the large portion so it comes with two skewers this one is chicken that one is lamb so let me try it one of each. Very good, very tender. It also comes with a, a kind of a Greek rice, which is a rice cooked with uh, vegetables. Let's give it a try. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. And there's also, this is a Greek salad, so it's cucumbers, uh, tomatoes, there's some olives in here, feta cheese on top. So I already know the Greek, Greek salad, I'm just gonna take a bite. 
there's no right way to do it, but you just do it. Very refreshing for summer. So the, the dishes came with this bread, and uh, that I still don't know the name, but as soon as I know, I'll put in the subtitles. And uh, this is too American for me, actually, but it's fries, just like fries, regular ones. They're really good. And this is the lamb. Like regular lamb. It's really good. And this looks like a taco. I don't know, but we had mojitos and taco and lamb and fries. So it's kind of a mixture of dishes. But it's really good. So my question is how should we eat it? If we should just mix the meat with the taco? Or if we eat it like separated, I, I have no idea how to, how, how do you think I should? I think you have to take the, the meat, like the lamb, you have to take it out of the skewer. Like, I'll use a knife or a fork. Yeah. And then you put them all together. Uh, maybe a little bit of sauce. Just... Sasuke. That's garlic. So put it. I guess I'm guessing. <laughs> and then you just wrap it and have your sandwich. <laughs> okay. It tastes better now. I just got the onion. <laughs> now why are you running? Is my breath that bad? Okay, let's try. The other side. Yeah. Watch how you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder. Is it? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing. You're dropping your onions. Look, the onions are. <laughs> How's your taco now? <laughs> 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 It doesn't look like a taco. The spices are different. To me, it looks like one, but tastes really different. And I really love it because it's not that spicy. And it's, it's just like I said, it's the food that I'm already used it to, so it's not that different for me. So I guess my stomach will be fine. My stomach hurts. But it's, it's delicious. Now, what did you think about Greek food? Mm, it was my first time eating Greek food, and I really enjoy because it was not very different than then I'm used to but I really like it's very tasty and but at the same time it's really heavy because of the rice and the potatoes so you feel really full in the end but it was good so I just finished my meal I can't show you the empty plate but that was definitely <laughs> empty that was amazing food not news for me because I've already tried big, big food and I loved it I'm so stuffed now I really love the, the fact that it's kind of uh, a mixture of flavors that I'm already used to and I actually love it. For example, the lamb is delicious and it's not that spicy, so it's, to me it's perfect. And the bread, it's delicious, it comes with olive oil and I really love it. It's, I guess it's kind of a Mediterranean, Mediterranean. How do you spell that? <laughs> Is it Iranian? <laughs> yeah, <the sea. laughs> yeah, and I guess this, the olive oil is really uh, common in, in that part. The Mediterranean Sea helped the first great civilizations blossom, trading route that bound together West Asia, Southern Europe, and North Africa. Across its waters, ships carried spices, recipes, and cooking techniques from one land to another. Despite this connection, it seems a little silly to lump the cuisines of Italy, France, Spain, Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, Greece, Israel, Turkey, and all of these other countries under the umbrella term Mediterranean food. Mediterranean sunny equatorial climate makes for some common ingredients, but each of these countries boasts its own distinct cuisine. In the restaurant world though, the term Mediterranean food has come to mean a cuisine that borrows mainly from southeastern countries such as Greece, Turkey, and Israel. Their menus tend to be defined by fruits and vegetables, grape leaves, olives, lemon, and lentils, dairy such as feta cheese and yogurt, 
and meats such as spit roasted lamb and char grilled beef and chicken. Yeah, you should definitely try it as well. And let's see where we can meet in the next time. This is Aline Camargo for Beyond the News.